Today, we are going to make the most versatile and affordable bike anti-theft system. According to the FBI report on 25th January 2024, an average of 175,000 bikes are reported stolen in the United States of America every year. More than 3 million bikes are stolen in Europe and about 70,000 bikes are stolen in Pakistan every year. In every country, thousands of bikes are stolen every day because it's easier to steal a bike compared to other vehicles. And in some cases, bikes are stolen at gunpoint too. I have arranged this old bike to work on projects related to bikes because it's going to be a long series. Moreover, eventually I plan to modify it into an electric bike as well. To start the bike, simply turn on the switch and then fold out the kickstart lever. Put your foot on the lever and tread down sharply. Now you might be wondering if thieves don't have the bike ski, how do they start the bike so easily? Let me share with you the four most common methods that thieves use to steal a bike in no time. Expert thieves can use any kind of pointed object to open a lock as you might have seen in movies. However, it requires special skills and a lot of practice to open a lock in less than two minutes. Therefore, the majority of thieves do not use this technique. I've personally been trying for the last 30 minutes, but I couldn't do it. So that's when method number two comes into play. For this method, no special skills are required. Even a kid can do it. All you need is some sort of metal object like a screwdriver. Insert it into the bike switch and turn it with force. Right now, the switch is useless because the switch mechanical system has been completely destroyed. Now, I can use anything to turn on the switch. I myself used to apply this method whenever I would lose the key. So, this is how thieves can steal your bike in less than 10 seconds. Method number 3 is implied only when the bike won't start even after shorting the switch. Usually, at this point, thieves run away because they don't have much time to open the casing and bypass the security system. But let's imagine they open the casing now, you might be wondering what they do with the security system. Well, the thief disconnects the battery wires, which makes the security system useless. This is the case when a cheap anti-theft system is installed. So, to start the bike, the thief or another person will have to quickly push the bike. This is similar to what we do when the battery is damaged or completely discharged. Method number four is not common, but there are still Thousands of cases registered around the world where thieves have snatched bikes at gunpoint. In a situation like this, you have no other option but to hand over the bike to the thief and your bike is gone forever. I don't know if you are lucky enough to fall under the category of those less than 10% of people who get their stolen bike back after a long, tedious process. If you don't want your bike to be stolen by any Tom, Dick and Harry so easily, then you need to spend a few bucks on your bike security. My designed bike anti-theft system is quite affordable and user-friendly. Let me practically demonstrate this for you and uh, let me also tell you this is the version 1. The upcoming versions will blow your mind so consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my upcoming videos. I have installed the bike anti-theft system and right now it's not active so I can just go ahead and start the bike. Now I'm going to activate the anti-theft mode and for this I'm going to use my designed BLE application and now let's try all those four methods. Method number one and method number two are similar because they both involve turning the switch on. So it doesn't matter if the thief uses the actual key, a pointed object or a screwdriver. Due to the activated anti-theft mode, the bike won't start even if they use the bike's actual key. Let's try bypassing the security system by disconnecting the battery wires. The battery wires have been disconnected and the switch is already on. So let's give it a push and see if the bike is going to start.
it won't start because once the anti-theft mode is activated, it can't be reset. They will have to completely remove the controller board and reify the connection. This might not be possible for majority of the thieves. Let me deactivate the anti-theft mode to demonstrate the gunpoint situation. When you stop the bike, turn off the switch. If possible, hand over the key or leave it in the switch. Get off the bike and pretend you are afraid and run away. While they start the bike and try to run away, quickly take out your cell phone and open the application. It will automatically connect to the controller and activate the anti-theft mode. The bike will stop and then they will have no other option except running away. Now let's go through the hardware and programming. This is my ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module based development board which I have used as an anti-theft system. You can power up this board using a 25 volts power source and at the output it gives you regulate 5 volts to safely power up the ESP32 board and this 5 volt SPDT type relay. If you also want to make the same development board then you can watch my previous video. In that video I have explained the circuit diagram, PCB designing, soldering and lots of other things. You will need to upload this code into the ESP32. You can download it from our website electronicclinic.com. I have added a link to the article in the description. Don't worry about the libraries because all these libraries are automatically installed when you install the ESP32 board. For installing the ESP32 board, you can watch my getting started video on the ESP32. During the practical demonstration, you observed that when the anti-theft system was activated, it could not be reset without the application. This functionality was made possible by the integration of the EEP ROM. This is the BLE application and it is compatible with all types of low energy Bluetooth modules including the ESP32 onboard Bluetooth module, Bluetooth 4, Bluetooth 5 and beyond. It's impractical to share its APK file with you because in that case, there would be no security at all if everyone used the same commands. Instead, I suggest visiting my Patreon shop and downloading the source code of this PLE application. You can then add your Bluetooth module unique address in the application and set a strong password to activate and deactivate the anti-theft mode. This way, nobody would be able to connect to your controller. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in a comment. So, that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode and thanks for watching.